Every lilac season I think to myself, I wish this fragrance would last forever. Actually, there are ways to do that and I'm here to show you how you can get the best of them. Make sure to watch until the end to learn all the medicinal benefits and how you can easily boost your well-being with lilacs. Let's start! There are several species of lilacs, with various color shades from lilac pink to deep purple. Once you're sure you're harvesting lilacs that haven't been treated with pesticides or other chemicals, forage the flowers depending on your project. I will explain more specifically a bit later, but the general rule is to harvest them on a dry, sunny day and be mindful when cutting the branches and shake them off to remove any dirt or insects. Once I bring my gathered stems home, I sort them by projects. The largest and longest stems are for my table centerpiece. I leave the rest outside for a bit to give insects an opportunity to leave. The fragrance of lilacs is known for its stress-relieving and calming effects and their strong scent fills the room. But lilacs don't last more than a couple of days, so here I have a hack to share that extends their freshness and vivid color. First, I suggest cutting the lilacs when some of the flowers are still closed. Immediately after being cut, remove most of the foliage and peel off some of the bark and slice the stem. This will help to let the proper amount of water into the plant. Place lilacs into hot water. The heat helps to open their stems even more. I was also advised to keep them in a dark place for about 8 hours, so I will do that. I just can't get over. This is the, like, I think it's literally the best scent ever in the world. For my other projects, I need only flowers. Rather than washing the stems, carefully observe them and mechanically remove any bugs or dirt. The pollen is a carrier of fragrance and flavor and you want to preserve that. Then remove green stems, even the tiny ones, as they taste bitter and keep just the flowers. From my experience, the easiest way to pick them is when they are in full bloom and just about to wilt. Then they come off much easier. For later use, mostly to make tea or tea blends, I dried a batch of lilac flowers. However, this time I failed a bit in preserving their color and scent, as I used natural dehydration method. I let them dry naturally on my countertop, but probably didn't spread them too well and the airflow was too poor as well, so they turned a bit of brownish. It's time to create a beautiful and fragrant centerpiece. Lilacs are just perfect for that and the treatment will extend their freshness for a couple of days. I like to use a wire net hack. Chicken net so it's well for that. Simply cut the desired piece and place it into your vase. Then start arranging the stems. The wire net will hold your flowers in the right place so you can create a lush arrangement. Thank you. 
well, ice cubes. Let's make them fun. I love making floral ice cubes as they add such a special touch to your drinks and they are so easy to make. Simply place the fresh and fully opened flowers into ice cube form, pour water over them and freeze them. It's a pleasure to transform lilac fresh or dried petals into delicate and fragrant herbal tea. It's perfect shooting beverage for relaxation or before bed. Simply steep the fresh or dried flowers in hot water, also longer brews will be more potent. Strain out the lilac petals, sweeten with some white flower honey and enjoy your cup of tea. Homemade lilac syrup is no doubt one of my favorite syrups. It tastes heavenly, very fragrant with a floral lemony taste. It's also a healthier alternative to store-bought syrups, especially when you use honey as a sweetener. And lilacs and honey are quite the pairing. First, make an infusion. Steep the fresh and fully opened flowers overnight in pre-boiled cold water. I also added a couple of slices of lemon as it pairs so well with the lilac's taste. Lilac infusion is known for its calming properties. The drink is rich in antioxidants that help protect the body against harmful free radicals and reduce inflammation. Once the infusion is ready, strain it through a fine mesh or muslin cloth. Bring lilac water to a boil, add honey and cook on a low heat until the honey is melted. It's important to know that at higher temperatures you will lose its medicinal benefits, though it will make the syrup last a bit longer. But you can skip the heating part and simply melt the honey in a cold infusion. Keep it refrigerated and use it during the next weeks. Once I have achieved the desired sweetness, I pour my mixture into sterilized bottles and keep them in the refrigerator. Bolts of lightning, pouring rain, crescent moon has taken it so far away to lay. I like to use my syrup for making botanical lemonade. Simply pour a bit of syrup into the glass. I'm also using my floral ice cubes for decoration and add sparkling water. Voila! Enjoy! Room spray. I think it's one of the best ways to capture the essence of lilacs. For your natural room spray, you will need distilled water. Oiled and cooled water will do as well. The point here is to stop bacterial growth. Soak the fresh and fully open flowers overnight. The more blossoms you use, the richer your fragrance will be. I also added witch hazel, which has a low concentration of alcohol and that will keep the mixture last longer. Apple. 
After soaking the flowers overnight, strain the liquid and pour the mixture into a spray container. You can keep lilac water in the refrigerator for over two weeks. Mine is still perfect even after a month. Yes, this mixture also is a perfect refreshing face water. Lilacs are not only a feast for the eyes, nose and taste, but also full of benefits for the skin. My lilac oil has wonders for my dry and acne prone skin. Before making lilac oil, let lilac wilt overnight. Fresh lilacs contain moisture which can introduce the risk of microbial growth and spoil your oil. For the next step, fill a clean jar with lilacs and pour carrier oil over them, making sure that the flowers are fully submerged in the oil. For the carrier oil I use jojoba oil as it suits my skin type and doesn't clog the pores. Leave the infusion to infuse for a couple of weeks in a cool and dark place, occasionally shaking the jar. Yes, making your own lilac oil takes a bit of time and patience, but it's worth it. Once the mixture is infused, strain the petals through a fine mist sieve or cheesecloth. Lilac contains anti-inflammatory compounds that can help calm irritated skin, making it perfect for dry skin and sunburns. Lilacs also have estrogen properties that are helpful in skin tightening, promoting skin rejuvenation and reducing age lines or wrinkles. My all natural lilac oil helps hydrate and nourish the skin, leaving it soft and radiant. And I have noticed that it has reduced blemishes and breakouts. I poured some of the oil straight into a little bottle to start using it immediately. P.S. Always label your oils with the name, type of oil used and date. <laughs> 